And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how we transformed. Uh, this was my daughter's room before, the smallest room in the house, and we changed it into our baby boy's nursery. You can see her room was pretty crowded, so we moved her over into a slightly larger room, which was my office. And then as we got items given to us for the new baby, we were storing them in her bedroom temporarily until we get to start working on it. And we got a crib, which my husband worked on, and the room got full. And then once I cleaned out the attic, we moved the extra baby gear up to the attic so that we could start working and prepping the new room. My cousin gave me her bassinet. She said that her son never really even liked it. So she said that I could have it. So I put it in our bedroom. It's pretty boyish, gender neutral, very nice. And then these are all zero to three month clothes I've been going through, sorting, organizing, because everybody's given me so much clothes. These are all newborn. I'm very grateful for all the clothes. And this is gonna be way more clothes than I ever need. Once we got the room all cleared out, uh, my husband started patching the holes and sanding everything down so that it could get painted. We used the same color that I also used in my office, which is pale oak. I like it because it's not quite a gray. It has more of a warmer undertone, but it's light and it's a neutral. So it's light and bright without being like just plain white. So it has a little bit of interest. This is the rug pad that I picked out from Amazon. It's not just the um, plastic one or whatever it is. This is like a felt pad, but it has like a grippy bottom to it because I'm trying to prevent it from slipping around the room. So we'll have to try this one out. And we got the new rug as well, so we can get that laid out so we can start flattening. And then you can see what it looks like. So my husband got ahead of me and he removed the old fabric that was on this bench and he used a staple gun and he put on the new fabric and it looks perfect. So today we're gonna be working on putting up curtain rods, getting some art up on the walls. These are the forest green curtains that I ordered. They should be pretty black out because they're velvet and yeah just a few miscellaneous things start getting things all put together here very exciting this we got from Target it was pretty inexpensive and it already comes framed so that was a good deal these curtain rods I got from Amazon I was looking for something that was going to be pretty heavy duty because the curtains that I got are velvet, so they're going to be heavy. But I was hoping that the velvet would help block out the light. My husband despises hanging curtains. I don't know if your husbands feel the same way, but it's one of his least favorite things to do. And then this day we worked on getting everything hung up on the walls and deciding where everything was going to go and getting everything all put together. Oh my gosh, if this isn't the cutest thing. This little hedgehog has a little switch on the back. Ooh, look at that. No cords or anything. I love that. Wow, that's bright. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. That will look amazing as a light and as just decoration in his room. I'll be sure to link their Etsy shop down below. It looks like the mobile came in the mail today. Very exciting. So we're gonna open this up, assemble it, and this should be the last, the final touch <laughs> for the nursery. Welcome everyone to the finished nursery. I'm gonna take you around the room and I'll explain each item as I go. So when we first come in, we have some little hedgehog, um, they're kind of like felt storage baskets. I got them at my baby shower. So the girls put in like some teether toys and a few different things that we got as gifts. 
So those are just kind of hanging out there for now. Won't stay there forever. And then we have this nice hamper here. We had this for the girls before and we're just repurposing that. We just had that up in the attic. So we brought that back down. I really like the natural color and then the different texture um, that it brings to the room. And over here we have this dresser, which uh, my husband painted. This was, we used this before for my daughter's a changing table, but it was brown. We bought it used, um, second hand, and then we just changed the, the poles on it, and my husband painted it. I believe this color is White Dove, which is also the same color as the crib. And then I found some really nice changing pad covers. These are really soft and stretchy. They have a really pretty green forest pine trees on it. And of course we have our waterproof changing pads on here for easy easy changing in case there's any accidents. And then above here we have a couple of shelves. These shelves I found on Amazon and they're pretty easy for my husband to install and I really like that it has this finished little cap that goes over the screw. kind of just gives it that little finishing touch. And again I went with a, a lighter natural wood so here my daughter wanted to buy the baby his first teddy bear so i let her get that this was my father's so that is a special piece and then my oldest also picked out this little planter which i believe was from tj maxx or marshall's and we just put a few little air plants in there Oh, and she also saw this little hedgehog that she stuck up on the shelf as well. And then on the top shelf here is a beautiful wooden set that I got on Etsy. And it has a really nice like matte finish. And I believe that was made in Ukraine. And I just love like the muted colors of that. Kind of ties everything all in together and then this mirror over here has the same kind of brass color as the the metal poles on the dresser and i believe we got that at the at home store and it was like thirty dollars or so over on this wall we have an alphabet um canvas wall art piece so I wanted, I didn't want just like framed things, you know, I wanted things with different texture, again with some natural wood, just to bring some more interest to the room and it kind of ties in some different shades of blue and mustard yellow and that dark green and that I also found in Etsy as well. And then I have this diaper basket, which is from Target. I have diapers, wipes, some cloths, and supplies in there. I really like that, and it's also easy to move around. Um, this dresser was my mother's, and then it was mine, and then my girls have used it, so it has gone through generation and generation. This is so why I have like socks. Socks, mittens, bibs, burp cloths in there, hats, and the bottom drawer is receiving blankets. And then in this part, we have gowns. We have gowns hanging up, um, sleep sacks, and some little hoodies. I don't quite fit him yet because he's so little. We have our forest green curtain. So I just did one panel on each window. They're not super big windows. I love, again, another different texture. Didn't do a ton in this room. I wanted to try to keep it minimal. 
as much as possible. So I tried to use different textures whenever possible. I did hang a couple art prints. These are just ones that I made myself and I printed them at home, reused frames that we already had. So it really didn't cost us anything. And then this mobile, I love. I had a hard time deciding. I loved, there were so many beautiful ones, but I ended up going with the high contrast colors because I knew that would be the easiest for him to see, especially when he's so little. Not that he really hangs out in his crib at all yet. I know the kids put the stuffed animals there. Don't worry, they will not be staying. <laughs> but we did hang this here. Sometimes I do put him down here when I have him um, supervised and he likes to take a look at his mobile for a little while. He's starting to see a little bit further away now. He is three weeks old, but he does not sleep in his crib yet. And then over here we have a basket. I believe it's from TJ Maxx that I got for my baby shower. Again, muted colors, it's like perfect. Got a bunch of blankets, hedgehog blankets, a handmade one, an elephant one, all very sweet gifts, and they all fit in my little container, right? Because that's important. And then over here is just a table that, just an, honestly an old little end table that we had laying around, but it's another color and it's his character, I guess, because it's in kind of rough shape. I have one of my friends made this at the, for the baby shower for me and my kids just think it's the cutest thing they don't want me to take it apart <laughs> so this has been hanging out here adorable little stork with the diaper bundle so I've left that there we have the other curtain on this side I feel it just it's a very nice rich manly color that forest green but really, I tried to make this room as neutral as possible. Simple, modern, neutral. Those were all my, my keywords, my goals. <laughs> uh, my mother gifted us this glider um, for the baby because the, we had one like this before, but it was pink gingham um, for the girls. So she got us this one. And I already had this pillow, but this is just a new pillow cover that I found on Amazon. So I just swapped it and I put the pillow cover on and voila, it fits perfect. And then the rug I found, I had a really hard time finding a rug that I liked, but this one is perfect. Again, it's pretty neutral in colors, but it is it does have different textures so it has some gray tan beige creams in it and it's perfect because it's it gives a little texture but importantly it's not too fat not too high that the door can go over it so i was like oh boy if i had gotten an even thicker fluffier rug then we would have had issues with the door, but thankfully it clears nicely. I really, really love it. And I got it on sale. So this is my minimalist gender neutral. I mean, it's kind of manly with the greens, but it really could be just gender neutral nursery. I love how it turned out. The crib. We painted it, well, my husband painted it because it was given to us. Um, my, We had a cousin generously give us a crib that they were not using. Their daughter did not ever use it. She said, here, just take it. You can paint it, do whatever you want. So, I mean, it's a different kind of style. It's not like a new, sleek, modern style of crib. It does take up a little bit more floor space, but I mean, I'm not going to argue, and I'm very grateful that they gave it to us in the first place. And just with a coat of paint, kind of freshened it up 
brightened it up because this is a small room. And then behind the chair is the closet, which I showed you my husband redid the bench seat in. These are like the sets we have hanging up in here for now. These are all things that are too big for him. They're like three month size. And then I have some swaddle blankets over here. So I will link as many things as I can down below in the description box. Um, I tried to do a mix of budget friendly things, DIY things. I tried to get a few things from Etsy that were special, handmade, but also not spend a fortune either. So we have a mix of hand-me-down things and things were given to us and a few special items that we bought ourselves. So let me know what you think. And here is his name. So after much research and a lot, a lot of videos and books, we finally decided on his name. So our little man is Alistair Edward and Edward is a special name in our family. And he came into this world as a scheduled C-section, but he surprisingly was breech anyways, so he would have been a C-section no matter what. And he was just a little tiny peanut, six pounds even. Our girls were seven pounds, so that was surprising. I thought he was going to be bigger than that. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get this video out. We've been trying to just focus on spending time with our final baby and enjoying those newborn snuggles while we can. So I will try to get videos out more often as I'm able to, but baby time takes the priority. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.